Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Okay, let us begin. I'm going to share the screen with you right now. There. Now, the attendance list. Just give me a second. Okay. When you hear your name, please let me know. Remember, if you're not participating, the microphone should be off. Okay. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Present teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Hello, Ana. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Welcome. Cesar Alexander Ramirez Ramirez. Present teacher. Good evening. Uh, thank you, Cesar. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Present. Welcome. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Welcome. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. He's here, teacher. Thank you. Javier Ernesto Lucero Escobar. Welcome. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortez. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortez. José Arturo Ramírez Bernal. Present. Welcome. José Eraidín Enríquez. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome. Madeline Diana Cerón de Paz. Good evening, present. Good evening. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present, teacher. Welcome. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Welcome. Noemí Alicia Estrada Palacios. Present, teacher. Welcome. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Janet Yanira Rodríguez Andres. Janet Yanira Rodríguez Andres. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea Michelle García Selva. I'm here, teacher. Welcome. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Present. Welcome. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Present, teacher. Welcome. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. 
Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Janet Yanira Rodríguez Andrés. Yanira, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm here. Good evening. Attendance taken. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's begin. Uh, everybody, welcome. This is uh, Advanced English 2, and that's me, once again, Ivan Doñan. This is session number five, and today is October the 2nd of 2023. Everybody be welcome once again. So what are we going to do? Well, I want you to take a look at this. What's the real story? Okay, lesson A. That's some story. That's This is the starting point of the section. And what are we going to do here? Take a look. Read the news article, match each headline with the correct article. The headlines are cell phone opens car door. The second one is sea lion paints for her supper. And surfing dog upstages rivals. So uh, what we're going to do here is just this. I want a volunteer to help me read the piece of um, news that we have right here. And then you have to tell me uh, the right heading for, for, for each of them. Nadia. Please. The police have been calling to surfing custom. contest contest in Brazil because a dog has been still all the attention. Has been stealing all the attention, okay? Stealing stealing all the attention. The dog become Became. the main a main attraction in Praia de Tiririca during the surf world championship. The dog and, and his training surfed together on the same surfboard between the competition. Police say they have called us to remove the pair because they have been getting more attention than the actual contest. The dogs Training say I've been always suffered with my dog. He he's always loving. Sometimes I think he's better suffer than I am. Thank you, Nadia. Yeah, that's right. There's a text. Uh, uh, by the way, Nadia, which uh headline is it? I don't understand your question. Ah, the, you have three headlines. Cell phone opens car door, sea lion paints for her supper, and surfing dog upstages rivals. Uh, Which? The, uh -huh. the surfing dog up, upstages rivals. Yeah, surfing dog upstages rivals. Okay, that's right. Okay, so uh, thank you. So what do we have? The police have been called to a surfing contest in Brazil because a dog has been stealing all the attention. The dog became the main attraction at Praia de Tiririca during the Surf World Championship. The dog and his trainer surfed together on the same surfboard between the competitions. Police said they've called us to remove the pair because they've been getting more attention than the actual contest. The dog's trainer said, I've always surfed with my dog. He's always loved it. Sometimes I think he's a better surfer than I am. So that's it. Surfing dog upstages uh, rivals. Okay. What is the meaning of upstage? It's basically when you steal the attention from something else and you direct it to yourself. That's the upstage. Okay. So um, any questions about the vocabulary here? No questions. We'll continue then. What about number two? I need a volunteer to read it, please. Who wants to participate? Who would like to read paragraph two? It's not a paragraph, the second piece of me. news. Who's me? me? Who's me? <laughs> okay. Janira. Okay, Janira, thank you, thank you. Always remember, let's raise your hand, otherwise I'm like looking for a person. I only hear the voice, but I don't know who it is. Okay, thank you, Janira, please. <clears throat> <clears throat> Maggie, a California sea lion on Pittsburgh Zoo has been amazing visitors 
by painting for his supper. Supper. Yes. Hmm? Supper. Has, supper. Mm -hmm. She has created dozen of paintings. Her trainer said, I started teaching her to paint last year and she caught on quickly. Maggie spent three months learning to hold the paintbrush in her mouth and to touch, to touch it to the canvas. Adding the paint was the next step. Maggie earned a fish for every successful brush stroke. The trainer has saved all the paintings. She's probably sell them to raise money to help animals. Okay, thank you, Janira. Uh, which heading is it? Janira, which heading is it? Is it cell phone? Yeah. Uh, see, oh. uh, see a lion paints for her supper. Yeah, that's right. See lion paints for her supper. Supper is dinner, right? That's the meaning of it. So thank you, Janira. Maggie, a California sea lion at Pittsburgh Zoo, has been has been amazing visitors for uh, by painting for her supper. She has created dozens of paintings. Her trainer said, I started teaching her to paint last year, and she caught on quickly. Maggie spent three months learning to hold the paintbrush in her mouth and to touch it to the canvas. Adding the paint was the next step. Maggie earned a fish for every successful brush stroke. The trainer has saved all the paintings. She'll probably sell them to raise money to help animals. All right, so uh, before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Anybody? Yes, teacher. Who's that? Please, Nadia, can you, okay. Please, can you repeat what is the meaning of supper? Supper, supper. Is, supper is dinner. Is? Dinner. I can eat dinner. dinner. Mm -hmm. That's supper. Dinner. Oh, okay. Thanks. Have you heard the uh, in the Bible, right? Uh, Jesus. Jesus has like the last supper with the disciples, right? Before the crucifixion. Okay. Jesus has the last supper. Okay. So supper means dinner. Teacher. Yes. When we use supper and when we use dinner? Depends, okay. Um, in American English, it's much more common to use the word dinner. But if you say supper, it's also fine. In other countries, it's more common to use the word supper. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some people call supper uh, a, a, like small meal be before the dinner also. I mean, it all depends on the cultural, say, aspect or wow. the region where the where the word is used. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, welcome. Any other questions about the vocabulary here? Remember, if you have questions, raise your hand, raise your digital hand. Otherwise, I'll get confused. Don't get me confused, please. Uh -huh. No more questions? I can't believe it. Look for words. Always remember, vocabulary is very important. It's extremely important, okay? Uh, don't do one thing that uh, a lot of people do, okay? People, for example, when, when people are, are, are say, uh, reading something, they say, uh, Maggie spent three months learning to hold the paintbrush in her mouth and touch it to the canvas. Canvas, que esto a saber, pero ahí se va, right? And then you continue reading. No, don't read like that, okay? No, when you find a word that you don't understand, Make sure you find out the meaning of the word. Otherwise, I mean, you're not learning any new vocabulary. Vocabulary is important. Very, very important. You can't imagine how important it is. So one more time and asking, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in this piece of news? <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. No questions. All right, then. The last one. The last one is quite obviously this one. Cell phone opens car door. Okay. Um, who wants to read this, please? Who can help me read it, please? Jose Arturo. Um, cell phone open, opens car door. Mm -hmm. Shopper in Michigan saved time and, and money after her husband 
helped her unlock her car from 10 miles away after a day at the mall, the woman went, went out to her car but couldn't find her, find her keys. When she saw them still in ignition, she called, uh, she called home and say, uh, I can see. I've locked. Um, this is the, the second part. Ah, okay. I, I've locked my keys in the car. I've never done that before. I don't know what to do. Following her, following her husband's instruction, she held her car, he her, held her cell phone about a foot from the car door, while her husband held the spur car remote near his phone and pressed the unlock button. The door unlocked, she said, I totally stopped worrying about my keys now. Okay, thank you, Jose Arturo. Um, the text goes like this. A shopper in Michigan saved time and money after her husband helped her unlock her car from 10 miles away. After a day at the mall, the woman went out to her car but couldn't find her keys. When she saw them still in the ignition, okay, she called home and said, I've locked my keys in the car. I've never done that before. I don't know what to do. Following her husband's instructions, she held her cell phone about a foot from the car door while her husband held the spare, key, uh, the spare car remote, remote sorry, near his phone and pressed the unlock button. The door unlocked. She said, I've totally stopped worrying about my keys now. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know if it's possible to unlock, you know, a car using a cell phone, uh, to be honest with you, but that's the story. Okay, apparently they did it remotely. Okay. If this technology actually exists, I'm not aware of it. Anyway, um, that's the thing. Teacher. Cell phone. Yes. Who, who's, Hi. who's speaking? This okay. is Romero. Okay. Ah, hello, Miss Romero. I yeah, hello. I think that's possible mm -hmm. because I saw like a short video of mm -hmm. a series that is called Modern Family. Ah. I guess you have heard about it. Yes. So uh, the man was on the phone and calling with um to a call center, kind of mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. And the car was unlocked um, by the phone. Something okay. like that. Yeah. So they use the phone to lock the door. To unlock. To unlock the door. Okay, just the like door. the story right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I well, guess it depends on the car. I, I have to learn about this technology. Could save me twenty dollars <laughs> next time it happens to me. It's happened to me before, by the way. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so um, here we go. Um, we're going to just continue. One thing is uh, that I want to mention is pronunciation, by the way. Okay, uh, I've seen this, uh, let's say, pronunciation slip made several times. You have this. And then you have this. Well, no, that's uh, this one. And then you have this. Okay, so how do you pronounce these three words? The first one is say you have to pronounce it with the sound a a okay say the technology. What about <laughs> technology okay then you have this one right here is is the pronunciation is says says you have to be careful because it's not says it doesn't exist i mean it is not pronounced like that so you have to say says says this is the third person singular form you say he says she says it says, okay, and then the past form and past participle is said, said, right? Always remember, always remember this, right? Uh, it's not said, it's said. So the only word in which, from this family of words, of course, in which you're going to use the sound a is the base form of the verb only. You say say, 
but the third person singular form is says, and the past form is said. All right, just uh, some pronunciation right there. Okay, um, let us continue. So lesson objective uh, 2.0, with this we begin. Okay, at the end of this class, participants will practice using the present perfect and the simple past. Okay, nothing too difficult right here, not at this point at, at, at the very least. Um, present perfect versus simple past. Now, how do we use this? Okay, use the present perfect to report a recent event without giving a specific time reference. Example, the trainer has saved all the paintings. Now, how does present perfect work or what is the structure? Take a good look. Who knows the structure of present perfect? Present perfect is pretty much uh, the auxiliary should be in this case. No, right here. Ash. Okay, sorry, I got lost with this. Anyway, Alejandro. Subject. We use the subject. Excuse me. Yeah, yes. yeah, totally. We use the subject. Does have or has, yes. and then, and then the past participle, past participle of verb, verb in past, in past participle. participle. Okay. Okay, okay, that's that's pretty much how it is. And then so compliment. yeah, and then the complement of the sentence, of course. Thank you, Alejandro. That is correct. Then you use the subject plus have or has. Remember, you use have when the subject is I, you, we, or they, or the equivalent, and you use has when the subject is he, she, or it. Okay, after that, you have to use a verb in past participle. If you want to make it negative, then you'll have to use the particle not if necessary, because it is not absolutely necessary. The sentence is affirmative, you don't have to use it. But the thing is, you have to use have or has. If it's negative, you use haven't, hasn't. And then the verb in past participle. So you have the example here. It goes like the trainer has saved all the paintings, okay? Let's eliminate this not right now because we're not using it. So has saved all the paintings. The trainer of uh, the sea lion. So the trainer has saved all the paintings. You have it here, has saved, that's person perfect. So when do we use person perfect? It's not very complicated, take a good look. We use the present perfect to report a recent event without giving a specific time reference. In other words, when you use the present perfect to talk about an action in the past, you cannot be specific about time, okay? That's very important. That's very, very important. For example, imagine that I say, um, I have traveled to Argentina, okay? Now, when I say this, I have traveled to Argentina, this refers to an event in the past, but I am not being specific about any time uh, reference. I don't say when I traveled to Argentina. No, I'm only stating um, an experience that I have. So in other words, this is an action in the past. And uh, when you use person perfect, you cannot be specific about time. If you want to be specific about time, then you will have to use past simple, okay? Again, if I say, imagine, I have been to Argentina last year, this will be incorrect, okay? This will be incorrect because I'm being very specific about the time. And when you use person perfect, you can't do this. Now, again, if you want to be specific about time, then you have to use past simple. And then you say, I traveled, wow, I traveled to Argentina. Now, this is past simple. This is a whole different story. I traveled to Argentina last year. Now, this is possible. This is correct. If you want to be specific about the time, you have to use past simple. Don't use present perfect, okay? Present perfect is about an, uh, a non-specific time in the past. So you have it here. Again, use the present perfect to report the recent event without giving a specific time reference. The trainer has saved all the paintings. Now, when did he save the paintings? Who cares about that? The important thing is that he has saved the paintings. He has all the paintings. Okay, that's the important thing about this piece of information. 
Now take a look at the second uh, rule. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You use a simple pass to report an event with a specific time reference. It's exactly what I just told you. If you want to be specific about the time, then you can. You, then you have to use pass simple. You have this, for example, after a day at the mall. Now that's a specific time reference. The woman went out to her car. Pass simple. But couldn't find her keys. Pass simple again. Another example. I started, okay, that you have best simple. I started teaching her to paint last year. Now, last year is a specific time in the past. Therefore, you have to use past simple. That's the thing, okay? So, always remember that. Present perfect, no specific time. Past simple, yes, you can specify the time totally, okay? So, what are we going to do right here? Um, Ah, before we continue, just uh, let me um, remind you about past simple and uh, present perfect. Remember that uh, in past simple, at least in affirmative sentences, you will have to use the verb in past. But remember that there are regular verbs and there are irregular verbs. Okay, regular verbs, the past form ends in ed. For regular verbs, you have to memorize them. There is no other way, but I'm pretty sure you know this at this point. The same thing happens with past participles, okay? When you have a, a regular verb, the past participle is the verb plus ed, only d or ied. And in the case of irregular verbs, okay, again, they have a special form and you need to memorize it. Sometimes it's the same as the past form. Sometimes it is completely different, okay? So just for you to keep that in mind. So what are we going to do here? Exercise B, complete the new story, the new story, I'm sorry, with the present perfect or past tense form of the verbs in parentheses. Then compare answers with a partner. So what are we going to do here? I'm going to give you um, three minutes. I'm going to give you three minutes so that you can do this individually. After that, we're going to check answers. All right, there's an example. A group of thieves, you know, thieves uh, steal. So you have to use, you have to conjugate this verb either in uh, past simple or present perfect. So a group of thieves has stolen the dragon's eye ruby from the grand gallery. Okay, you can use present perfect because you are not being specific about the time reference. So has stolen, and robado, right? A group of thieves have stolen the dragon's eye ruby from the grand gallery. Now you have to continue, right? You have the rest of the verbs in parentheses, and I need you to decide if you're going to conjugate them in past simple or if you're going to conjugate them in present perfect. Uh, Yanira. <clears throat> Teacher, why has and not have? Because uh, are... Plural. Thieves. Mm -hmm. Because we're talking about a group. a group, one group uh -huh. of thieves. Uh... So it's a set of thieves as a group. It's one unit, okay, in this case. So it's a group of thieves has stolen the dragon's eye ruby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Jose Raibin Enriquez. Uh, basically the same question, teacher, but thank oh, same you for question. the answer. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay, you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, three minutes, everybody, let's do this. When you uh, After the three minutes, I'm going to ask for volunteers uh, for the answers. Let's begin, three minutes.
All right, time's up. Okay, so what do we have? Um, a group of thieves has stolen the dragon's eye ruby from the Grand Gallery. Second sentence, who can help me read it? Daisy. Okay. Um, last night, at about uh, 1 p.m., the alarm went off. The alarm went off. That is correct. Thank you, Daisy. How about number three? Byron, number four, Jose Arturo. Okay. Byron, you there? I don't. Number three. Ah, yeah, number three, please. Rushed. Okay, can you Police read the whole sentence? Rushed. <laughs> Police rushed to the building immediately. 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 Okay. The police rushed to the building immediately, but Jose Arturo. Jose Arturo. Oh. Okay. Where? But they were. But, uh huh. But they were too late. But they were too late. Yeah, that is correct. Thank you, Cesar. You're next. Hi, right, teacher. Yes. Right. Right after learning of the robbery, the mayor. The major. The, the, the major. Of the telephone. Uh huh. The telephone of the hotline for information about about the theft. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, right after learning of the robbery, the major set up a telephone hotline for information about the theft. Okay. Good. Maritza Isabel, number six. Okay. Three people have called so far. That's correct. But the police are still looking for further information. Yeah, three people have called so far. When did they call? That's not important. The thing is that up to this point, three people have called. Thank you, Maritza. That's correct. Very good. Who wants to go with number seven? Number seven. Okay, Jenny Elizabeth and then Daisy. Okay. Number seven. Yes. They believe is it is probably that the thieves have left the city. Thieves have left the city. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Um, and the last one, Daisy. Um, the curator. Curator. Mm -hmm. The curator. The grand gallery. Yeah. Sorry. Greater on the of the Grand Gallery has offered offered a sixty thousand yeah dollars rewarded for information leading to the capture of the thief. Correct. Okay, the curator of the Grand Gallery has offered the fifty thousand reward, fifty thousand dollar reward for information leading to the capture of the thieves. There you go. That's correct. So that's present perfect versus simple past, and this is also the knowledge check two point two. So, um, somewhere asking about this. So this is knowledge check two point two that you find in the in the platform. It's basically the same answers right there. Has stolen, went off, rushed, uh, where, set, have called, have left, and has offered. Okay. So uh, just let me see that. Okay. Yeah. That's that's pretty much how it is. Let's see. Yeah. Everything is. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, those are the answers. Nadia. Uh, Peter, what is the mean roster? What in is the, the mean? Previous text. In the previous text? In the previous text. Uh, which, in, which, 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 which word? Three sentence. No, um, the, and the other part of one. This one? For, further, yes. In ah, further. Yes. Further means further. extra or additional. 
That's the meaning. Further information means more information. What's the meaning of that? Further, extra, it's, it's additional, or more. Is information about one thing in a specific? Mm, I time. mean, yeah, in this case, in specific, they're, they're trying to find more information about the theft, specifically about the theft. But yeah, further information means uh, more or additional information about a specific matter or event or, uh, I don't know, topic or oh, okay. whatever it is <laughs> that we are dealing with. But yeah. Teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, it, it is also the comparative form for far, right? Yeah, technically, but far basically has two comparative forms. Okay, uh -huh. there is this. I'm going to show it here. There is far. Okay, so there's the word farther. Okay, which is about distance. Okay, and then there is the word further, which is about something that's additional. <clears throat> Extra, it means more. So, yeah, oh. mm -hmm. both words exist. Exist, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but, but one refers to distance and another one refers to quantity or amount. Teacher, can you repeat the pronunciation? Ah, yeah. Okay. okay, you have this, which is far farther, farther. D don't say father because it's a different word. No, this is farther. And the other one is fur further, fur further. I mean, they're close in pronunciation, but they're different at the same time. Okay. There's farther and there is further, further information, further examples, further investigation, further research, et cetera, et cetera. But this is a farther distance. Okay. And so on. Okay, um, let us continue. So again, um, there is exercise uh, knowledge check 2.2 for you. Uh, sorry. Um, there it is. So um, let's continue. Now, this is extra. Okay, this is not exactly in the... Uh, manual, so I'm going to share this with you via WhatsApp. Okay. Let's see if I have it here. Okay. I'm sending this to you via WhatsApp because it's not in the manual. By the way, I'm going to use this opportunity to call uh, some of the attendance names on the list. Is Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos online? Yes. Present. Welcome. Welcome. Reina Isabel, Thank you yes. So much. <laughs> okay, there she is. How about Ricardo Ernesto Ramirez? Not yet. Janet Janira Rodriguez Andres. No? Okay, well, I'm going to do this again at the end of the class. So, present perfect versus simple past. Now, a picture. Yes. I'm here. Yes, you take yes. it. <laughs> yeah, I took your attendance. I, I mentioned your name and okay. I said, yes, yes, she's here. Okay, you're welcome. You. Okay, so um, Thank you, present, present perfect versus simple past. So you use the present perfect to report a repeated past event. Okay, now look at this. Thieves have robbed three banks this year. Now, if you remember, I told you just a moment ago that when you use present perfect, you are not specific with a time reference. You cannot mention a time reference because uh, that, that is grammatically incorrect. However, you can mention frequency. You can mention how many times the action has happened. That is possible. You don't say when, but you can say how many times it, ha it has happened. So that is possible. You can say here, thieves have robbed three banks this year, okay? Or imagine that you say, I have been to Mexico twice this year, for example. Now, one thing to know about uh, the use of present perfect in this case is that you have to work with a time period, not a specific moment, because that will be with past simple. Now, you have to work with a time period, and the time period is always a current time period. Now, what is a current time period? A current time period is a period of time in which we are in, okay? 
It's not in the past. We are in that time period. Examples of current time periods include today. Today is a current time period. It's a period of time of 24 hours and we are still on this day. Okay, uh, you can say this week. That's another current time period because we are still on this week. You can say this month. You can say this year. You can also say uh, this semester, etc. So, um, this term. And so on. The thing is, to use the present perfect like this, you have to be in the same time period. I mean, the, the, you have to be in a current time period. Now, if you say something like yesterday, it doesn't work. Because yesterday is gone. Yesterday passed, yesterday finished. You cannot say last week because last, last week finished. We are not in last week. We are in this week, okay? You cannot say last month, for example. You cannot say, uh, for example, July, because July ended uh, several days ago. So every time, I mean, you're using the present perfect and uh, you want to mention how many times something has occurred, you have to be in a current time period. Like this, thieves have robbed three banks, okay, this year. What will happen if you said last year? Take a look. Say thieves have robbed three banks this year, okay? Current time period. But what happened if you what will happen if you said last year? Then you will have to use past simple. Thieves robbed three banks last year. Now what happens with last year? It's a period of time, yes, but that period of time is over. It finished. Okay, it's not current. That's why you use past simple. Okay. So uh, next example, the seal has painted four pictures so far. So far, remember in Spanish, you say hasta ahora. In other words, we're talking about a period of time that continues up to the present day. Okay. And, and but, but, but it can be a bit confusing in this case because you say like, okay, but when did it begin? When did the time period begin? Well, it began when the, the, sea, the sea lion started painting. Okay. That's when the time period began. And the, 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 the sea lion continues to paint, has continued to paint up to this day, and will likely, likely, I'm sorry, continue into the future. So we're talking about a time period that is current, the time period we, we're still in. So uh, the seal has painted four pictures so far. Okay, by the way, that's another word that you can use, so far. It indicates a current time period. Now, you use the present perfect to report an event that has an effect on the present or is still relevant. That's another rule about present perfect. You use it to report an event in the past that has some relevance in the present. Okay? So, you have, she's been more careful since she lost her car, car keys. Okay? She's been. She's been more careful. Ha sido más cuidadosa desde que perdió la llave del carro. So, she's been more careful. Now, we're talking about an event in the past or a series of events in the past that have some relevance in the present. What is the relevance in the present? That now she's more careful. She's different from the way she was before. She didn't care about the car keys, okay? But now, I mean, after that event, after she lost the car keys, she has been more careful. It, it is relevant. It's relevant information now in the present. Um, the second one, the shop has had a security camera for six months now. Okay, that means they installed the camera six months ago. The camera is still there and it is relevant because in the past they didn't have it. So they were victims of robbery. Okay, but now they have a security camera and they are still victims of robbery, but at least they can identify the thief. Okay, they can call the police. They can show the records. They can, uh, yeah, they can show the video and everything. So that's the difference. In other words, uh, the fact that they have a camera now has certain impact or relevance in the present tense. Okay, so that's the thing. Again, 
just to recap, okay, you, you can use the present perfect to report a repeated past event. In other words, you can say how many times this has happened. And when you, you, when you do it, you have to specify a current time period. And also you use present perfect to indicate that an event in the past has relevance in the present. Okay, it's important for some reason in the present. What are we going to do? We're going to do another exercise related to this. Complete these sentences with the simple past or the present perfect form of the verbs in parentheses. So again, you have the verbs in parentheses and you need to decide if it is past simple or if it is present perfect. Once again, you're going to have three minutes to complete this exercise starting right now. Please, three minutes. Let's do it.
All right, time to check. Uh, no. Nope. All right, time to check. Um, number one. Nadia Isolina and then Jose Raivin. Um, the police how call how call him mm -hmm. in when he is uh, stolen stolen us. Okay, but if you notice here, you say when he sold the stolen art. When you say that, when he stole the stolen art, the stolen art, I'm sorry, you are being specific about the moment when the guy, when the police caught him. So in other words, we have to use past simple. So what would that be? Let's uh, hear it from Jose and then Alejandro. The same number one. Yes, number one. The police caught him when he sold the stolen art. Art. Police caught him when he sold the stolen art. Okay, he sold it and then the police detected it. Ah, okay, and they caught him. So uh, even if if uh, sometimes you know you will have a specific moment, even if you don't know when it was, but when they say when he sold the stolen art, that specifies the moment the police caught this guy. Okay, therefore, it's a specific moment. We have to use past simple. So thank you. Uh, Alejandro, number two. Unbelievably. 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 Yes. The same woman has won the lottery twice. Unbelievably, the same woman has won the lottery twice. Okay, you're possibility the possibilities are astronomically low but it happens okay some people can win the lottery more than once okay but yeah thank you that is correct now look at this we're talking about Hello. an action like in the, the past <laughs> well i'd like to be that lucky <laughs> anyway so um yeah, the same woman has won the lottery twice. Now, wh what do we have here? Yeah, has won. This is an action in the past. We don't say when it happened, but we mentioned how many times it has happened. So yeah, you can use person perfect. Absolutely. So um, what about number three? Who can help me uh, uh, with the answer to item number three? Debbie Segura. Are you sure? Uh, <laughs> okay, Debbie. It's so far. <laughs> yeah. I'm so joking, far, I'm the joking. children have raped. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm a teacher. <laughs> I have you? raised uh -huh. more than 50, 500 for charity. Yeah. So far, the children have raised more than $500 for charity. We have the word so far indicating a current time period. Therefore, your safest bet in this case is the person perfect. So far, the children have raised more than $500 for charity. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Okay, um, Rufino, number four. I go, I'm going to try. Please. Uh, sign the city, place it. It's a news loud crime has followed. followed. Okay, since the city passed its new laws, crime has fallen. Okay, yeah, that's right. Has since fallen. Has fallen, right? I don't past remember part past participle. Yeah. yeah, but that's the one. It's an irregular yeah. verb. But yeah, that's right. Has fallen. Remember that the verb in Thank base you. form is fall. The past form is fell. The past participle is fallen. So, yeah. I was thinking, I, I have like, uh, that's the problem when you have dinner very quickly before the class. I'm always like, I have this problem. So, uh, yeah, since the city passed its new laws, that's the specific moment in the past, right? It's a specific moment in the past, but it indicates the beginning of a time period. That means since that moment up to this moment, okay, crime has fallen. Okay, Biden, number five. Okay, the kidnap. Kidnapped. The kidnappers mm -hmm. not called and have demanded and any ransom yet. 
Any ransom yet? Okay, now what is a ransom? The ransom is the month when, ransom. when, when, uh, when there is a kidnapping, in other words, when somebody is abducted, okay, captured, but not by the police, but by criminals. And then they say, okay, if you want to see this person alive again, you have to pay this much money. That's ransom. Okay, that's ransom. That money that they ask for in return for that person is what they what it is known as ransom. So uh, the kidnappers, um, no. take a look, take a Sorry. look. Okay, you have... There is a word here that's very important, the word yet, okay? So when you have something in negative and then you have yet, that means aún no. Maybe in other words, uh -huh. have not called. Uh, have not called or haven't called <laughs> and... Demanded. And demanded, yeah, that's right. You don't need to use the auxiliary again because you have used it before. Okay. Any ransom yet. The kidnappers haven't called and demanded uh, any ransom yet. Uh, los secuestradores no han llamado ni han pedido rescate todavía. So yeah, that's that's the thing exactly. Oh, so okay. this is this Thank is another one. You're welcome. Uh, not yet. Okay, indicates a time period that we are in. Therefore, present perfect. Okay. And the last one. Okay, uh, who can help me with number six? Please. Number six. Devi Segura. You sure about this? No, I'm kidding. No. I have to stop yeah, with the puns. Yeah. I'm really sure. <laughs> okay. No, no. I have to stop with the puns. No, no, don't take it personal. Yeah. I remember a long, long time ago, I had a student whose name was Ever. And and everybody uh -huh. made puns about his name. Like, have you ever uh, seen this movie? Or they say, ah, like, uh, okay. <laughs> the day he was born, I remember that uh, it was his mother's birthday. Okay. He was born on his mother's birthday. So everybody started like saying, like, that was the best person ever. Okay. For a birthday. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> kind of like something I do sometimes. I, 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 okay. I, I do puns with names. Okay. But okay. So number <laughs> I'm six. I'm really sure. <laughs> okay. You're sure about it. Okay. <laughs> well, Okay, I I already understand that it's because of my my last no, name. No, I know, right? I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. okay, so it says, "No storm has struck since summers began." Yeah, no storms have struck since summer began. That is correct. Okay, those storms have struck since summer began. Okay, great, 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 great. Uh, Alejandro. Teacher, excuse me, what is the meaning of, of storms? Storms. Ah, storm. Yes, teacher. You know, heavy rain, usually okay. with, with lightning and, and thunder, that's, that's a storm. We're having a lot okay. of storms these days, by the way, at night. Is there a storm okay. where you live right now? Not here. Okay, but yeah. No storms okay. have struck since summer began. Okay, um, you're welcome. Thank you, teacher. All right, I'm just going to uh, call attendance one more time so we can finish. Um, all right, so uh, there are two people who haven't replied is Ricardo Ernesto Ramirez Quijano online tonight with us in this class. No? Okay. Is Janet Janira Rodriguez Andres? online mm, apparently not okay well okay uh listen this is grammar extra this is not in the platform and it's not in the in the, in the manual okay that you have received so um you will not find it there but i just sent it to you via whatsapp so you can practice uh or, or practice again at home if you want okay remember to uh, complete the exercise in the platform okay so far up to this point, uh, we have uh, been through uh, section 2.0, then 2.1, which is, I want you to watch the video. There's Miss Jessica explaining everything very well. Um, watch the whole video, okay, so that it counts in the completion uh, percentage. There's a knowledge check that we saw yesterday, the lesson objective, present perfect to uh, present perfect continuous, present perfect to present perfect.
versus present perfect continuous. That's something we're going to do tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to study this directly. And also I have some extra exercises that again are not in the platform or the manual. Uh, so it's very important for you to be in class tomorrow. Uh, there's going to be a lot of practice. So please don't miss the class. Also remember that uh, after we finish the session, the section, not the session, after we finish the section uh, this, this uh, week, we have to solve the midterm, okay? So that's part of uh, this week's uh, task, we can say. Right, everybody. Um, thank you very much. Okay. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Good night. Teacher. Good night. Yes. Bye, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. I hey. couldn't get my camera on. Everybody okay. have a wonderful Getting night. For the airport. Okay. Who's, who's speaking? <laughs> It's Romero. I'm sorry. Okay, Miss Romero. Okay, thank you. So yeah. you are where in the at the airport? You said. Yeah, I'm driving. Well, you're I'm driving in the car. Ah, in okay. The car, getting home. Yeah, sorry about that. No, no, don't worry about it. Okay, don't worry about it. I understand. <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> thank, but thank you for letting me know. Have a good night, everyone. Too. Good night. Bye bye. Yeah. Sure. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.